Hi and welcome to All Flowers. So today uh, we went to Fair Klempt um, and as part of the vegetables that were available uh, for us to choose from today were some artichokes. Now I know they don't look great but we've never had artichokes before so I thought with us being able to get them there on that offer would probably be a perfect chance for us to have a go and see if we can cook them and how you eat them um, to see if we actually like the taste of them um, so we've picked two of them up um, um, this one I've already prepared I've, I've cut back um, and that one's ready for cooking um, so what you do straight from the start is you grab yourself a lemon or a lime, cut it in half and have it ready because as soon as you start to cut into the artichoke it really goes brown quickly. Um, so when I say I've trimmed this up, I have, it's just with me waiting it's actually going brown quickly. So do have a lemon or a lime ready to give it a good rub over and try and retain the whiteness. Now as I say these aren't, aren't the best because we've got them from a food initiative and we haven't got the ripest but um, springtime and August, um, autumn are the best times for artichokes so even though this might look a little dishevelled the heart of it will still be beautiful, I'm hoping. As I said, we haven't tried them before, so here we go. So we see the stem, um, and you can see it's quite woody. You can actually see. Um, and as I say, I've just prepared that one before we started, so I know it's like soaring down a tree. It really is. I suppose it wouldn't be as bad if they were much fresher, but I'm going to cut that stem in half if I can. With me while I give it some welly. Okay, that's that part off. And then we've got the top. So the stem's off. I'm actually just going to tidy the stem up quickly if I can. Take these bottom leaves off first. Just pulling these ones back. So I can get the potato peeler in to clean up this stem a little. So I'm just literally going to take the top layer off the stem. Um, I believe cooking the stem um, as thoroughly as you do the heart. Um, that it's just a good, just as good delicacy to eat the stem as it is the heart. So I can still see that's looking a bit woody still. So do that. Get the line on it as quickly as possible. Try and retain the fresh green colour rather than letting it brown up too quickly. So put this off my board a minute. We turn it round the other end and where you can see the tight cluster was originally, um, well it still is, this is just a thistle bud, a huge thistle bud and this is a little one really. Um, so where the opening is, they're quite a little bit sharp so we want a, about an inch and then just chop the head of it off the top of it. As I say, you need to give it some welling cut through. And then we take our scissors and we start at the bottom and we cut the tips off. This is more defined because um, it's going brown but if they were green, if there was a lot of what you'd call meat flesh 
in these parts that I'm trimming off then it would be okay to leave I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make it a bit attractive if I can <laughs> um, tidy up the dry bits off it completely completely coat it and try and retain the green colour. Right and I've put about an inch Two inches of uh, water in the pan and I'm going to place them head down and I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to simmer those on a low heat <coughs> for about 45 minutes um, and once they're actually cooked, I'll come back, um, show how it's served on a plate, um, and then we shall look at how we actually eat it. As I say, I've not eaten one before myself. I've had Jerusalem artichokes. I've had those several times, but I've never had um, what they call a globe artichoke. So... I'm quite looking forward to this. Right, so the artichokes are actually cooked, gone quite brown. So I'm just going to leave them in the water. And what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to make a little butter and garlic dipping sauce for it. So I've got 50 grams of butter and two small um, cloves of garlic. So one decent sized one would do. Um, I've just put two small ones in and I'm quite happy to say the, what I grew in the garden this year. So although everything else is shop bought, at least we have a little contribution to it from the garden as well. So I'm just going to add a, a pinch of herbs into it. Lift this to me. What I've already done on one of the artichokes is just snapped off um, the bottom. So I'll do that again now on the other one. So I'm literally levering it out of place and seeing which way I can get an angle on it to 
to pull it out. Come on, this one's going to be a bother to not let me do it. The other one, it was quite fibrous when I, I pulled it out, um, and it just literally come out like a roots. Okay, so we've got this on now. Let's go a little bit. Oh, that's a nice one for you. Turn that completely and just let that go all in it for a minute. So, excuse my, I've got tongs there. Put a clutter clutter in my little box. it up twice but here we go so basically you'd set it just on the plate like that I believe um, and in the restaurants with their own knives and forks people actually remove the outer the outer leaves Oh, she would need an open fork to do it. It's still quite tough. So I can see there's a bit of meat coming gradually on them. So these bottom ones haven't got any, what we call meat on it. So as we're slowly getting into the middle, we'll get some. Not very bad, I'm just doing this like, but gosh, can you imagine how awkward it would be trying to do this in a restaurant with an open fork? I'm gonna have to watch people do it for real. I think these are the, the tender ones. So, what you basically do is, you know, I don't know if that's got enough on for me to do, but I'll go for it. Dip it in the, the buttery garlic. That's actually quite nice. So it's a cross. Um, I've heard it described as um, a cross between asparagus. What do you think of that, Mr. Wallflowers? Mm -hmm. It's nice. A cross between asparagus and celery, but I can't really taste anything like celery there, but no. I can taste a similar to asparagus. Mm -hmm. Um, so these outer leaves are the leaves with the, the meat, so just take um, a couple of those to one side and enjoy those in a minute. Okay, mm. like that. Mm -hmm. See, so you turn it under side, turn it over, and scrape it with your bottom teeth. It's lovely, really nice, and completely different to mm. anything I've tried before. And so easy, really. Mm -hmm. They do take quite a while to cook. Let's see if we can get through. 
through to the heart. It was lots of layers on this one. God, you would be there for quite a while eating this, wouldn't you? I'm not sure now if I start knocking it off. That's the only one I was so. some points, I'm not too sure where, because these seem to still keep coming, but you kind of take the top off and you left it underneath as like a fibrous part and you don't want that anywhere near. So you take that off as if you're cutting off the cap of the mushroom, just take it off completely. So it resembles a sunflower head, really. I just want to make sure there's no fibrous parts there. I'm going to get confused with the neat. It's not exactly what we want. Gosh, it's messy, isn't it? You know, I mean, never sure what I order one of these in a restaurant. Kind of thing you want to try at home, I think. Right, how do we do this? So, that's the bit we want, isn't it? Don't say. Oh, I have look. Bit of tissue wrapped around it. And we move on. Right, let's at least taste it anyway before we have a crisis. I don't know if it's cooked properly. Well, the leaves are a big yes for me, but from what the leaves are a big yes, but from what I'm tasting here from this underneath, it's a no, unfortunately. Oh, I was so eager to like that as well. Okay, thanks for joining us today in our adventures and trying out the artichokes. As I said, the leaves are a great success for me, but unless I've cooked it the wrong way or there was, you know, it had just gone way past its, its date, I'm not sure because the leaves are quite nice, but the base, the heart wasn't for me. But thanks for joining us and we'll see you soon. Bye.